When you begin using OneDrive, you want to consider how you're going to manage your files. From a student's perspective, it would make sense to create a folder structure that would allow the student to save their files into a class folder. To create a new folder, you click New, and you choose Folder, and you would type your class name. So you would type the name, and then you would click Create. Maybe you're taking more than one class, so you could create another folder. And maybe you're taking a third class. So this makes sense that when you're working on your assignments, you'd be able to save your files into that particular class folder. Now, within the folder, you would create subfolders that you could save things either weekly or maybe by chapter. So for instance, if I go into the MS Word folder, I can create subfolders in here. New, folder, and I can type in the folder name. And then click Create. So this is a subfolder within the Word folder. I'm going to do another subfolder. Now if I want to go back to the main screen, I can just click Files, and it shows me my folders here. I can go into another folder, and I can begin to create a folder structure in here. Click New, Folder. This time I'm going to go by Chapter. So it really depends on how you want to organize your files, but to me this makes logical sense. Now I'm going to go back to Files here, and I'm going to show you a couple of new tools. So if I click next to MS Excel, there's a little circle there, and then you get this toolbar right up here. For now, we're going to look at a couple of these. If I want to delete this folder, I can click Delete, and it says, are you sure you want to send this item to the recycle bin? I'm going to go ahead and click Delete. The other folder I'm going to click next to, this one is Rename. So I can click Rename, and instead of MS Outlook, I'm going to type Microsoft Outlook, and then Save. So that's how you can rename a folder. I can also move a folder into another folder. So I've got this one selected. I'm going to choose Move To, and I'm going to choose Your OneDrive, and then I'm going to select the other folder that I want it to be inside of, and I'm going to say Move Here. Now, when I click the MS folder, there's my Outlook folder. I can also drag and drop a folder. So I'm going to click on this Microsoft folder here, and I'm going to drag up to where it says Files, and I'm going to drop it. And now when I go back to Files, there's my folder right there. If I want to share a folder and all of the contents within it, I can click Share and I can type in the email address of the user I want to share with. Another method for sharing a folder would be to click next to it, choose Copy Link, and you can come in here and choose Copy, and this is a link to the folder. Then you can open up your email and you can share the link with other users. If you want to download the contents of your folder, you click download and it's going to download to your hard drive. If you want to sort your folders and files in alphabetical order, you click sort and you can sort by these different filters here. If I want to change the view, I can click this button here and I can change the view of my files.